Lafayette, a small village on the coast of Louisiana, is fighting for time. As climate change shapes ecosystems and environments around the world, the threat of rising sea levels is of great concern. Already since 1932, Lafayette has lost over 2,000 square miles of land to flooding, showing that this is not just a concern about the future, but it is happening right now. As a result, Mayor Timothy Kerner proposed the idea to create more infrastructure in Lafayette in order to bring recognition to the small town and make it seem more permanent. Kerner stated, I hope people will see that, hey, not only are we fighting hard to exist, but you know, maybe this place is worth saving. This mirrors the long struggle of climate change and the debates of credibility and economic implications that have existed in the United States for decades. There is much debate around climate change, whether it is actually happening and where the evidence lies. As seen in recent years, climate change has been a major topic of discussion in political realms. To understand the debates of climate change, it is crucial to know about the origins of when it came into play as a key environmental, political, and economic issue in the United States. In the early 1900s, the conservation era got the ball rolling for more conversations about the value of the environment. As environmental issues became more of a concern for Americans during the environmental movement in the 1950s through the 1970s, the idea that Earth's temperatures are rising gained attention and the term climate change was coined. Although climate change was becoming a large issue during this time, there are a lot of debates as to whether it was even occurring and whether its effects were important enough or worth economic loss to do anything about. Even though there is evidence of climate change Affecting society, land, and ecosystems around the world, like rising sea levels, there are many people who believe that the economy is a more pressing issue than the longevity of our Earth. Up until the current day, people like President Donald Trump are working to reverse efforts made in green politics in order to make economic gains. In the early 20th centuries, the idea of Muir and Pinchot had about preserving and conserving nature respectively mirror the attitude change of Americans and after industrialization while reflecting debates about nature's value. Muir believed that no matter what the land no matter what the land should be preserved and not used for economic gain, while Pinchot argued that there should be a balance. This shows the debate between whether the land should be utilized to benefit the economy or whether it should be preserved so that future generations can enjoy it. The conservation era of the 1920s led to more discussion and new ideas on Earth's natural resources that emerged during the environmental movement of the 1950s and 70s, through 70s, including the concept of climate change. Although the climate was changing for decades, it was not until 1987 that this particular environmental issue was named. The debates concerning climate change and the environment were further continued after the establishment of this term and there was much skepticism as to whether climate change was even happening. In the early 2000s, legislations, was put in pla legislations were put in place and public opinion became increasingly aware of this issue. In 2006, the film An Inconvenient Truth came out and brought awareness to the urgency of climate change by providing a plethora of evidence to the public. Two years after the release of An Inconvenient Truth, Barack Obama was elected as president. During his presidency, Obama made efforts to combat climate change more than any other president in U.S. history. Most importantly, in December of 2015, during Obama's administration, the Paris Agreement was signed and implemented by the U.S. and 195 other nations. This was a unified commitment by these countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in order to slow down climate change on a worldwide scale. Despite evidence like the sea level rise in the Louisiana town of Lafayette and the efforts made by Obama and other environmentalists, people still have strong beliefs that climate change is not happening or that it is not of great importance. From 1987 until now, the controversy of climate change has been brought to the forefront of environmental discussion. In 2017, Trump announced that the United States will be withdrawing from the Paris Agreement, which in result will do decrease environmental global leadership presence in the United States. To further establish Trump's view on climate change, in a tweet from December 28, 2017, he claimed that, in the East, it could be the coldest New Year's Eve on record. Perhaps we could use a little bit more of that good old global warming that our country, but not other countries, was going to pay trillions of dollars to protect against. Bundle up. 
It is clear that President Trump believes that climate change is not real and, in fact, uses evidence of the weather being cold to disprove this phenomenon. The belief that climate change does not need immediate attention is widespread in the United States today. That being said, the complexities of views on climate change in the United States are rooted in the skepticism that has been unraveled throughout the 20th and early 21st centuries.